Hello, this is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. This is lesson eight in our uh, series on the Blender. Uh, if now this particular series is designed for my seventh grade class, however, um, I try to label the videos um, on YouTube as specifically as I can. So if you're interested in um, learning about a certain concept within the Blender, uh, check out the video descriptions because I try to be specific there so um, people who are interested in learning about the Blender can find what they need relatively quickly without having to watch uh, the entire 5 or 10 minute video every time. Um, okay, so in this video we're going to talk about soft body collision. We're going to create an animation um, by enabling physics properties within the Blender. It's going to create some artificial gravity and we're going to actually make this cube right here drop according to how we define uh, gravity and whatnot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click 7, I'm going to put it in top down view, and I'm going to delete the default cube. I'm going to go up to add, I'm going to choose mesh, and I'm going to add a plane. Now it's important you're in top view here. This plane is um, a two-dimensional um, mesh here, it's just basically a single face. I'm going to hit S and I'm going to size it up significantly. Okay. The next step is to hit 3, we're going to kick it over to side view, and then I'm going to choose R, and I'm going to rotate it about 45 degrees, maybe a little less. And as you can see, I'll go ahead and I'll just rotate around. Now we've got our plane just like that. Okay, I'm going to move the cursor above the plane. I'm going to choose Add, and I'm going to choose Mesh. Uh, the more complicated the mesh, the slower your animation will render out. So I'm going to choose a simple one like a cube. Okay, and we're in edit mode. I'll just go ahead and kick it into object mode. Now you can see here what it did was it's uh, the plane was selected. I added a new mesh and I added the cube, and now it associates both of those, and I can't select the cube or the plane independently. Um, I'll be honest, I have not figured out how to disassociate these two objects um, so that I can separate them out in object mode. If someone out there knows the answer to that, so that I could right click on the cube and then right click on the plane and select them independently based on the fact that right now the blender seems to consider them a single object uh, please you know post a comment to YouTube and say here's how you uh, split those two objects up I'm gonna delete them right now and I'm just gonna go through those steps again very quickly add mesh plane I'm gonna scale it up I'm gonna kick it into object mode I'm gonna go to three side view alright I'm going to rotate it a little less than 45 degrees so we've got our plane right there now I'm gonna deselect it I'm gonna choose add I'm gonna go to mesh and I'm gonna choose cube okay so now I've got two independently selectable objects I can select the plane and I can select the cube um, alright I'm gonna take the cube and I'm gonna move it up to about the top of the plane actually let me go ahead and in side view I'm gonna grab the plane and I'm just going to slide it down along the uh, y-axis here straight down about to there and I'm going to take the cube and let's go ahead and size it down make it a little smaller we're going to hover it at a fair distance above our plane okay so the first thing we want to do is we're going to select the plane and we're going to go over here to our object panel um, it says F7 that's our shortcut down there in the panel and uh, over on the right you've got these this little uh, it's orange and yellow and it says physics buttons okay so I'm gonna click on the physics buttons and the third group over uh, from the right says soft body alright so I've got my plane here I'm gonna enable the soft body on the plane I'm just gonna leave everything default and I'm gonna enable deflection over here so I'm gonna click deflection and soft body now I'm gonna select the cube I'm going to enable soft body, except I'm going to uncheck use goal. Now, here's the cool thing about Blender. It really does give some good information. If I hover over use goal, it says define forces uh, for vertices to stick to animated positions. So by keeping that checked, the forces of gravity are going to uh, kind of stick that cube where it is, but we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to uncheck use goal. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to check uh, stiff quads. Alright, and I'll just go ahead and bump it up to 0.6. Now all I have to do is hit Alt-A. 
And as you can see, the cube goes rolling down the plane. That's pretty cool. Um, and that is all there is to soft body deflection. You create the plane, you create the cube, you enable soft body. Um, on the plane itself, you need to enable deflection. And that's all there is to it. Okay, lesson eight's pretty simple. We're going to create a cube, we're going to create a plane, and when you hit Alt-A, the cube should go rolling down the plane. All right, that's it for lesson eight, and uh, keep an eye out for more lessons. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time.